Guys, look what I was able to grab today. I was able to nab the new NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. I've done two shades. I'm actually wearing both of them in this in, on this look right now, in this look right now. So stick around to the video to see me applying it, some thoughts on it, and let's get into it right now. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Let's just get into it. Before we get further into the video though, please comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know if you like powders, if you're interested in this one, if you have oily skin, because this is oily skin friendly. And also, if this video is a tiny bit choppy, it's because I live in a city and there are planes, trains, and automobiles making noises outside, so I tried to cut those out, but let's pop into the video right now. A few details about this powder. It already launched on Sephora.com, but it hasn't launched on the NARS website yet. It will be launching on the NARS website on January 15th, 2023. I'm actually surprised by the fact that a company launched its product on the Sephora website before launching it on its own website. It's usually the other way around. But all that aside, it is $36 for nine grams of powder. That's about, um, actually, I don't need to calculate that. That's 0.31 ounces of product, which is a third of an ounce of product. It, it, it comes in eight shades that range from... Uh, very light to light skin tones with neutral undertone and that is a shade called cliff i am actually wearing it uh one of the shades that i'm wearing and the deepest shade that it comes in is seafront and that is described as medium deep to deep uh with neutral undertones uh additionally sephora is describing this as a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that blurs imperfections smooths the look of skin and sets makeup for up to 24 hours i'm not testing this for 24 hours mainly because i a have white sheets and b don't like to go to sleep with makeup on, especially this much makeup. Uh, no, no, no. But I will test it out for a few hours and I am actually going skiing tomorrow morning and I'm gonna be out there for a while. I fall a lot, still new at it, I fall a lot. So I'm really gonna put this through a test there and I'm gonna report in like um, probably a comment uh, that's pinned at the top where I'll update my uh, the description. This is meant for oily skin types, uh, according to Sephora. And now I'm going to pop into the video. This is what the inside of the compact looks like. It's got a gigantic mirror. It's got quite a sizable pan of powder. There's nine grams of powder in there, actually. So that's quite a lot. And oh, look at that. You can see my tree. Yes, it's still up and it's going to remain up because there's nothing else to look forward to in January. Let's get back to the product. As you can see, there's a gigantic pan in there. It's wide enough for you to dip your brush in. And here's the best part look how slim that is it's got the slimmest profile i've seen in a very long time i hate the packaging that nars usually does because i haven't even used it and it's already got fingerprints and all all of that on it as you saw i got two shades the first shade that i got is called cliff and it is meant for very light to light skin tones with neutral undertones which should be me and looking at it it is very very light so I hope this works, but it is very, very light. Um, it should work for me, to be honest, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, yeah, that should work because the second one that I got is the shade Creek, and it is meant for light skin, light skin tones with cool undertones. And, oh, you know what? Mm, I don't think this would work right now, but I would need, like, the tiniest bit of a tan. I would just literally need to see the sun for, like, a single day, uh, and I think this would work for me. Um, I'm going to try them both on. I'm going to try one on one side of the face, the other one on the other side of the face. It's going to look absolutely ridiculous, but that's okay. <laughs> it's just uh, for purposes of this video. I remembered that I had clips, so I put them in. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the shade Cliff, and I'm going to apply it to this side of the face. So let's go to town. Okay, so I'm applying it. It's, as you can see, almost immediately mattifying my face. Okay, I don't know what's happening with that, but it's fine. It's almost immediately mattifying my face. It's definitely taking down the shine from the foundation that I was wearing, which was the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. The reason I use this one is this is my glowiest foundation right now. I mean, it's not just glowy in that it has some specks of shimmer, but it literally does not dry down. It's like super duper dewy. I've not found anything to dry this foundation down. And okay, so just a couple layers and I'm already feeling that it is a little bit drier. It's definitely still tacky a little bit, but you know what? Let's see if we can get it to the point of actually completely set. So let's try it out. So that was what, this is my second layer. Okay, 
Second layer, it's already pretty dry and set. I don't feel the tackiness as much anymore. Let's go to the forehead because we have to. So let's see. Okay. So, hmm. you know what I'm noticing? How much of a difference this powder has already made when compared to the side of the face that isn't set yet. Like, look how glowy this is, and look how matte this is. This is like matte, matte. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the third layer to see if it can be fully, fully set because it was mostly set before. So my initial thoughts as I'm finishing applying this powder is that it's definitely meant for people who have oily skin types. It's not meant for people who have dry skin types. Actually, if you have dry skin type, don't even look at it. Not at all. Just keep on walking. It's not meant for you. Find another one if you even need a powder. This is not for you because look at the difference that it's made between the set side of my face and the unset side of the face. I mean, it literally set to complete dry a foundation that I've not been able to set with any other powder. And if you did not hear the powder, the foundation I was talking about before, it's the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin uh, Foundation. This thing, I've not been able to set it with anything else but this. Like, it's completely set to the touch. So I'm going to use a velour puff and apply the powder to this area right here because I do have larger pores there. So, okay, as, uh, as you can see, I'm like really tapping it in so I can get the powder to set that area and i will say that this is definitely set now actually not just set but the pores are really really minimized i have really pronounced pores i'm sure you can see it on this side i hope you can see it on this side how pronounced they are but they're definitely not pronounced on this side it's definitely made pores less visible which is a big concern that i have because i don't want my pores to be visible so this is probably a powder that I will use more for dusting on my face and setting the area around my pores for me because that actually did a really good job of it. That did a good job of it, I have to say. I haven't had my skin this dry to the touch in probably years. It's nice. It's nice. I like it. Okay, so... Now that I've applied this, I'm going to apply the other powder, or rather the other the other shade, and this is the shade Creek. I'm gonna use a different brush. So let's go in, I'm gonna use it on the other side. And this is technically not my shade. As you see, this shade is like perfectly matched to me, although I look a little bit ghostly, but you know, nothing that a little bit of bronzer can't fix. So this is definitely a little bit more yellow for me, but let's see how that looks. Huh. Okay, you know what? I'm not hating it. Hmm. You know what? It's making my face look a little bit more alive. So while this side is perfect, it's literally the shade of my skin. I mean, it's the shade of my skin. It's the shade of the foundation. It's, it's perfect. Um, like this powder did not darken my foundation or oxidize it. That's that's new to me, actually, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. But this side is making my skin look a little bit more alive and a little bit more vibrant. So I might actually like to use this shade, the Creek shade, which is meant for light skin tones with cool undertones. I might use this all over the skin going forward and then use the Cliff shade, which is, as I said, the lightest shade to brighten a little bit because this is pretty good, I would say. So I'm going to stop tinkering with my face more. So I only have one layer of powder on this side and it's mostly set. It's definitely still a little bit tacky. I'm so sorry about the noise outside there. I don't know what they're doing outside. But uh, it's definitely still a little tacky, but really not very much. So if you have normal skin, if you have combination skin, this would actually still work for you. Again, not for dry skin, but oily skin can use multiple layers as I used on this side and uh, dry, not dry, not dry, not at all dry. 
and uh, normal or combination can use fewer layers on this side. Um, I'm not going to set it any further on that side because I'm actually going to do a wear test of a couple of hours while I'm editing this video. So maybe two, three hours, it's really not gonna be that much, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go to the gym and walk. I'm gonna walk on the treadmill as I'm editing this video and I'm not. I'm probably not gonna sweat very much, but you know, still. Um, I forgot that I didn't set my uh, under eye on this side, so I have to set that. So looking at my face in the viewfinder, I'm liking the way the slightly deeper shade um, uh, of the powder, the shade Creek, looks on the rest of the face, but I really like how bright my under eyes are here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a fluffy brush, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna take a fluffier brush, and I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Cliff and put it on this side under my eye area, but I'm only doing a little bit. This is way too much powder, to be honest, for of this powder, certainly too much, but I'm gonna see if I can use them together. I think I'm liking that a little bit more. There isn't that much of a difference, there's just a little bit more brightening. So this is what the face looks like set with the two powders. This side is set with the shade Cliff, which is the lightest shade, the ghostly shade, and it's definitely fully set which I really like. It's still fully set and there's no oils or dewiness peeping through or seeping through. This side is, is set with the shade uh, Creek and I only used one layer of powder and, except for right here, but I only used one layer of powder and it's mostly set. I would say this is the 85% side or 80% side. This is the 110% side. Uh, so it's set, set. I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup and I'm going to come back with my initial thoughts. Hmm, I love the way this makeup turned out. I would date myself. This is lovely. I love this powder. Um, I know that it appeared that I wasn't too into it while I was applying it, but I think the more I wear it and the more I experience it, the more I like it. Applying the little bit of makeup that I needed to apply over this and experiencing how smoothly everything glided on, is it glid on, glided on, whichever one, that was a dream, look at that. Everything looks like soft matte. Oh, that is what the name means. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it now. But I look like softly mattified. I look like my skin is perfected. I definitely, this hair does not want to cooperate. Uh, my pores are not pronounced. My makeup just applied smoothly, perfectly the way I wanted to. There was no issue with blending anything out because all the powders that I used over this powder just melded into the powder and they just look cohesive. I look good. I don't know if the gym deserves me, but I'm gonna go upstairs and test this out further uh, and see if I can give you more ideas. But as of right now, I really like the way this powder performed. Uh, again, it dried down an undryable foundation. It uh, smoothed out my skin, definitely diminished the look of my pores. Let me see if I can show you. Do you see what my pores look like? They're not there. That's why you can't see it. Yeah, I'm really, really, really liking this powder. Like, I like not seeing my pores from a mile away. I usually see them in my monitor. I usually see them reflected in the lens. So not anymore. And that's because of this powder. <laughs> I will take it. I think what I'm actually going to do is, yes, I'm going to go upstairs, do um, some kind of cardio to put this under some sort of strain uh, for the sake of this video, but I am going skiing tomorrow morning, which is why I have to put up this video tonight, edit and put it up tonight, but I'm going skiing tomorrow morning and I'm going to see if I can do this makeup again. Oof, that's a lot. Can I do that at five o'clock in the morning? I can do it at five o'clock in the morning. That's fine. And I'm back. It's been three and a half hours on my end, though I know it's been only a couple of seconds for you. And I've even incorporated an outfit change into this video. I'm in my robe and this is my second robe of the night. I did not get to go to the gym and actually exercise, not because I didn't try, but because the um, 
the treadmills were taken and I needed to edit the video. So I came down and edited the video in a terry robe, which actually caused a little rub off of the foundation here. You know, there's nothing powder can do against the, the terrors of the terry robe. But other than that, my skin is looking basically the same. Uh, there's a little bit more glowiness here. I think that a little bit of the glowiness or dewiness of the foundation actually came through or it came up and, or rather the powder just melded into the foundation. So it looks a little bit more like skin. It's not tacky. It's still dry to the touch. Uh, maybe a little bit less powdery than it was before, but overall, it's still beautiful. Looks very much like skin. I would say it's lovely. Both sides of my face, even though I use two different shades of the powder, are looking basically the same. I Just because I know, I know that um, this is looking a little bit lighter than the other side. But other than that, I don't think anybody would really notice it in real life because I've not been able to notice it in the mirrors so overall everything is looking great except except for the fact that right here i'm noticing that there's a little bit of a breakage in the foundation maybe not even breakage so much as there's more settling in that in that little spot because when i smile that obviously is more pronounced i have very pronounced smile lines um that generally speaking when i relax my face are not very visible so I'm not sure how that developed because I haven't been going around smiling at like the computer as I'm editing it. So not sure what happened there, but it doesn't help that I put on three layers of a mattifying foundation in like that area. So be careful when you have when you put the powder on, how much you put on any area that creases on a regular basis. You know, just maybe avoid putting three layers there. But overall, as much as I hate to recommend an expensive powder like this, because this is $36, I really like it. And of course my battery had to die at the last minute, <laughs> but last minute it is. I, as much as I hate to recommend a $36 powder, I kind of have to. It's very good. It did its job. I'm really liking it. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I'm going to keep wearing it. And I think that I'm actually going to look at more shades as the... Um, as I get more tan because I think it did its job really well and I think this is going to be great for me in the summer when I do produce more um, oil and sebum. Not a lot, but a little bit more. So overall, do I like it? Yes, I do. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Is it for everybody? No, it isn't. But there's really very little in the makeup world that just, you know, is one size fits all. Um, I would suggest that you try it out. If you have dry skin, obviously don't touch it. If you have normal skin, you don't really need it. If you have combination skin, you could look into this. And if you have oily skin, I think you should actually go buy it and at the very least check it out. If you don't like it, you can always return it. But this might be a really good buy for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I will see you in my next video. Stay well. Bye.